my god. She knows she's dying. She's so worried about this bird. And the fact that like, within like a 30 minute phone call, we both just like love each other so much already. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Love Your Parent. My name is Tracy and I appreciate you watching this video today. I know the introduction was probably hard to watch. Trust me, I have a hard time watching it and putting it on this channel as well, but it's important. And I'm gonna tell you the story. Um, I am going to be driving, so once I start, then I won't be able to be um, focusing on the camera, so just listen and hear me out on my story. But basically, I got a call the other day from a guy who the neighbor has a parent. She's 73 years old and she has stage four cancer. Graciously, the neighbors are able to help care for her and help her out. And now is the time that she has to start thinking about where her bird is going to go. So the bird is 21 years old and has been with her the whole time. It is a Jardine parrot. They are not widely known anymore in this day and age. Um, they were pretty popular in the 90s, but they're a great bird. They're an African species. Uh, they come from a similar places that our Senegals come from. Henry and Axel that you might know if you watch our videos. Um, if you don't know Henry and Axel, please scroll through my videos because there's some really cute ones of them. So I talked to the lady on the phone and she, basically her cancer is everywhere now and she's had it for five years and she loves this bird so much. And it's a tame bird, comes out and is on her shoulder every day. She's got like five cages and different rooms. Uh, such a responsible bird owner. And so talking to her on the phone, I'm not, I wasn't taking birds for my rescue because I can't take very many per year. Um, I take about five per year. Um, I'm hoping to get approved for 501c3 and then maybe I can expand is my dream and my inspiration for these birds to help them and get more funding. But so I wasn't taking in birds, but something led me to talk to her and it just seemed like a perfect situation for our home and our rescue and to have this bird as a sanctuary bird to live out the next 20 years because it's probably going to live another 20 years. They typically live 30 to 40 years and she is 21, this bird. And so talking to her was very emotional. The, the cancer is everywhere. It's now in her brain. And, and she said, Tracy, where have you been the last five years? And I said, well, um, I didn't, you didn't need me five years ago. You needed to have that bird. Now is the time that you need me. And this is why we were connected together where I can take your bird and give it a good home. Um, she knows my kids will interact and, and they're so experienced with birds also. She was so, so happy to have found me and that her neighbors were able to help through this process of her difficult journey of leaving the earth soon. Um, it could be two weeks, it could be two months, they're not quite sure, but she's so responsible in getting things prepared where her bird is going to go before it's too late, before she's on too much morphine and the cancer is in the brain and her, her, her vocabulary is not going to be well soon because when it gets in the brain, a lot of times it's very hard to speak. So she loved me and we just were so alike. And so we are on our way to go get this bird. 
Um, and so when I got off the phone with her, it was very emotional. And of course, as you can see, I bawled my eyes out. I have a trigger of, with cancer, especially. I'm sure many of you do. Everyone knows someone. I lost my best friend in uh, 2009. She was only 38 years old. So I have a tattoo in memory of my friend Jennifer who died of cancer and I was there through the whole process. Uh, she had throat cancer. The purple ribbon on my tattoo represents all cancers and the rainbow is that we will meet again someday. So clearly, as you can see, I was very upset um, after getting off the phone with her as well as she knows she's gonna be very upset today. Um, the time is coming to an end with her life and she is okay with it. She was so, so worried about where her bird was gonna go. So it's gonna be a very difficult day, guys. All right, guys, I'm here. This is gonna be really hard. She's doing the right thing and she prepared early. So we have picked up Kia and that is the Jardine parrot that was surrendered to us today from a lovely, beautiful lady who is battling stage four cancer. It was a very bittersweet moment that we'll always remember. I had two of my daughters with me and my husband. We've got lots of supplies and cages for her and she wanted to donate to my other birds for the rescue. It's been a long day and I am excited to share with you that the goodness of being able to be that person to take a bird that means so much to someone else and they know that they may be passing away soon and to give them that peace and to really just treasure their feelings and listen to them it was just, it was bittersweet but a, such a great connection and I'm gonna show you Kia. All right, Kia, what do you think? Are you in a strange place? She's being very quiet. She's with Alyssa right now. All right, let's take you to your home, okay? It was a 45 minute drive to get to her house and now we are headed home. There's an accident that just happened so it's probably gonna take me an hour, hour and a half maybe to get home. So we're just, uh, we're gonna let Kia settle in and wow, this is bad. All right, Kia, you're gonna be hanging out with this for a while. 